so in this lecture we will discuss the physical significance of various statistical quantities in grand canonical ensemble or we will see how to derive the thermodynamics of a given system by using the grand canonical ensemble approach okay uh, so similar uh, topic was discussed in uh, uh, the canonical ensemble also you may refer back to that before we start with uh, this lecture right so uh, you know it all begins with the definition of grand partition function so we have we have the grand partition function or grand canonical partition function we can say grand partition function defined or denoted by uh, z script letter z that is defined as sum over r years e raised to minus alpha nr minus beta es so let me denote this one as our starting equation and i told you this grand partition function uh, or in general the partition function uh, will act as the bridge to the thermodynamics of the system uh, in uh, ensemble formalism so we start with so now what we are going to do is that it's uh, found that rather than this z the logarithm of set is uh, a more useful term okay in grand uh, canonical ensemble so we define a new quantity a new quantity or a new potential in uh, grand canonical ensemble known as the q potential so we are going to define we define we define the q potential of the system q potential it is also named as q potential it's another uh, thermodynamic quantity uh, q potential of the system we define the q potential of the system as logarithm of uh, the grand partition function that is q is equal to log of the grand partition function okay so it just log of the grand partition function that we uh, take mathematically as a new potential for the system so that is log of um, substituting equation number one sum over rs e raised to minus alpha nr minus beta Yes. So this is the definition of what is known as the Q potential of a system in grand canonical ensemble. Okay. So uh, and also we introduce one more quantity. Okay. Also we introduce one more physical quantity that will be used uh, later uh, while we discuss the quantum uh, statistics also known as the fugacity. Okay. So also fugacity of the system. Fugacity of the system of the system this is a property that is defined uh, that is actually uh, related to the property of volatility of the system uh, means uh, how the particle number of a system can vary okay so the fugacity of the system is defined or is denoted by its letter z small z remember it is denoted by the letter small z in order to distinguish the small z from uh, okay the grand partition function script letter z i am putting a cross over that z Okay, z is defined as exponential of e raised to minus alpha. Okay, where alpha is minus mu by kt. So I can write this is equal to e raised to minus of minus mu by kt uh, is just nothing but mu by kt. So e raised to mu by kt is what is defined as the fugacity of the system. So uh, please see that you remember equation number two and three throughout. Okay, so first one is the Q potential of the system, which is defined as logarithm of uh, grand partition function. So it is quite easy to remember. And uh, another one is uh, a uh, property that is related to the volatility or the chemical potential of the system uh, that is defined as fugacity uh, denoted by small letter z, which is equal to e raised to mu by kt. So now what we can do in terms of fugacity, we can rewrite equation number two, which is the Q potential. Therefore. Uh, I am rewriting Q potential, therefore Q is equal to, that is equation number 2, is written as log of, okay, right, log of sum over Rs, sum over Rs, I am rewriting that one, see, uh, I have to include fugacity here, so I am writing uh, first term, e raised to minus alpha nr as e raised to minus alpha, which you know is a fugacity by our new definition, raised to nr, I can write like this, uh, multiplied by, I am separating out e raised to minus beta e s out, so e raised to minus beta e s, which is nothing but equal to log sum over r e s, then uh, I can write this is nothing but z, small z, fugacity, z raised to e n r, e raised to, or uh, I can, uh, yes, um, yeah, let me do one thing, 
let's uh, split the summation uh, it's a double summation actually so i'm splitting the summation into two different summation one is summation over r okay and the other one is summation over uh, what you call yes so we can do the summation over yes also uh, let me just rub this one also yeah so uh, the second one is summation over uh, yes so i am writing so the summation sum over rs is split into two summation sum of s e raised to minus beta es only condition is that both r values and s values should be included right now you know what is the advantage of this one so i can rewrite this one as equal to log okay equal to log uh, see uh, like uh, uh, once again i'm making a difference so yeah please what is uh, the second term here sum over s e raised to minus beta es that is nothing but q n v t right because we had the canonical partition function q n of v t defined as sum over all r values e raised to minus beta e r that is the definition now only difference here is that in place of the dummy index r we are using yes that's all so here you can see that in the expression this is also this can be also written over any dummy index sum over e s e raised to minus beta yes so you know it doesn't matter whether you call r s p q whatever it is for a demi index it's a running number right which denotes the sum over all accessible states of the system now so the second one is nothing but q and bt right so uh, since here it is nr you know okay we need to consider only co things corresponding to nr we will write this one as q nr bt so i am changing the summation also accordingly instead of r sum over r over r we are writing it as sum over nr sum over nr starting from 0 to infinity so all possible values of nr okay then uh, this will be more meaningful z raised to nr then uh, you know the second term is nothing but q okay which is the canonical partition function. so we are rewriting q potential of the system in grand canonical ensemble in terms of the canonical partition function okay so that is q nr of vt q nr of vt is right Q N R of V T, where, uh, where let's uh, mention that one, where, uh, okay, the, what is that? Q N R V T is the canonical partition function. Remember, we are bringing in that one canonical. All these are related. That's why canonical partition function of the system. So what we can do uh, is that. Uh, uh, log right is not uh, the thing uh, what we had just modified is that uh, earlier uh, q is equal to log set that's uh, same thing only just we have modified the log set in terms of fugacity okay so uh, that is the thing you can see that here uh, fugacity has been introduced so i can say now the uh, lhs okay or q is now a function of z also and v and t that's the only thing what has happened q is a function of z v t so i can say that there's a log of uh, z okay log, q is log z itself so when z is expressed as a function of what uh, small z v and t uh, small z v and t okay so what we have done here in uh, let me call this one as uh, equation number four see what we done here is that uh, okay uh, we were using you know the macroscopic variables of uh, grand canonical ensemble is actually mu vt so in place of mu we introduce a new term z the fugacity so we just made a shift of functions from mu we just replace a mu dependence by z dependence a new quantity fugacity okay so z vt this is only what we have done by the current equation we replaced mu with the z which are equivalent okay and uh, using z has got a uh, more uh, okay mathematical convenience also the, as we will see so uh, that's equation for uh, we got q is equal to now remember uh, see uh, equation 4 is defining what is known as q potential uh, it is defined as a new thermodynamic potential for a system in grand canonical ensemble uh, and now uh, instead of uh, directly the set this q which is defined as the logarithm of the set is going to serve as a uh, what you call uh, as a statistical quantity uh, which connects the thermodynamics of the system so instead of 
z the grand partition function logarithm of the grand partition function will uh, now serve as the uh, what you call the bridge to the thermodynamics ya parnu irunadana nammal z sadhanathil partition function neerittu oru systemathinte thermodynamics lekkulla oru key ait act cheyyanadhu pagaram ivide nammal endana partition function de logarithm eduthu adine q potential ennu putta define cheythu ee q potential nammade systemathinte thermodynamics lekkulla oru window ait act cheyyanadhu kaanan pattum so we define q potential because uh, log z will be more useful than z itself okay we will see that from the uh, ongoing discussion uh, we are going to do here so what we mean what we mean here is that uh, uh, other thermodynamic okay so the thermodynamic variables of the system thermo uh, variables of the system can be obtained that's a relevant system can be obtained can be obtained from q potential defined as log of the grand canonical partition function so that's what we are going to do now so now you know to do that let's do some homework so you know that for any system in contact with a reservoir be it a particle reservoir or it an energy reservoir the relationship between entropy and probability the relationship between so okay between entropy and probability can you recall that one we had uh, derived it at uh, towards the end of canonical ensemble uh, formalism discussion the relation between entropy and probability is given by entropy s is equal to minus k sum over r there it was sum over r s in canonical here we have to take double summation sum over r and sum over s p r s into log of p r s hope you remember this uh, derivation that you have done in canonical symbol we wrote this one as minus k sum over r p r log p r and hope you remember we proved that uh, the, this is uh, equal to k log omega when p r is substituted as 1 by omega for a system in micro canonical ensemble so we used this uh, expression in canonical ensemble and we proved that this is holding good for a system in micro canonical ensemble as well provided we identify pr is equal to 1 by omega for a system in micro canonical ensemble so this is the expression that we have extended for uh, uh, what you call uh, a system in grand canonical ensemble by replacing sum over r by sum over rs and pr by prs that's all okay so let me uh, denote this equation as equation number 5 to continue right so i can just substitute for uh, this uh, uh, what you call prs i am substituting for the second prs that is minus k into sum over all r and s values into prs log of log of for uh, prs the gibbs distribution equation you know that is e raised to minus alpha nr minus beta es divided by the grand partition function z the script letter z okay that's there now which we can elaborate or we can expand that is equal to minus k sum over okay r and s we can leave it that is p r s into you know okay what is going to happen log a by b is equal to log a minus log b so that is going to be uh, minus alpha n r minus beta e s minus log of z okay minus log of z can you see that the log of z is appearing straight away here which is nothing but your q potential but uh, we will be using it only at the end right so that is the thing now uh, you know that what is alpha you know alpha is equal to uh, minus mu by kt that is what we have uh, used and uh, beta is equal to what is that uh, 1 by kt so we will be using those two expressions here to rewrite it so this is equal to minus k sum summation then uh, i can substitute uh, this is prs into prs into minus alpha will become plus mu by kt mu by kt Uh, times nr then uh, minus beta is 1 by kt that is so i can write as es by kt so i substituted minus log of the grand partition function z so which can be again modified as is equal to minus k minus k sum over rs of course that is sum over rs itself uh, okay you know uh, i can write prs into prs into 
uh, what will happen is um, yeah you can open up the bracket i think mu by kt mu by kt into nr so mu by kt into nr that will be the first term plus uh, so yeah, i'm just opening the bracket uh, to distribute some more uh, things or uh, thing plus uh, you can say k into minus and minus will become plus for here so k into some over all rs values uh, prs prs then es by kt es by kt is not okay plus minus will become plus again uh, k into some over rs uh, then prs into prs into log of that set you know what is going to happen you can just cancel away the k here in both the terms so k here is getting cancelled away and uh, what you are left with is uh, those two things so you know uh, in the summation mu and t are remaining constant because we are considering a system in grand canonical ensemble where the macro state of the system is mu vt okay so macro state of the mu system is mu vt means mu and t are constants so uh, you can just take mu mu and t uh, okay can be taken out of uh, that uh, summation so uh, it will become uh, so s equal to entropy s is equal to uh, minus mu by t i'm taking as uh, constant outside minus mu by t into what is uh, remaining is sum over rs prs into nr that is the first term that is remaining then plus i'm taking 1 by t outside of the second uh, term that will be sum over rs prs into es will be remaining there plus uh, k log uh, okay z k log z k and log z is also taken outside because uh, log z is anyway going to be a number so what remains is that sum over rs prs only remains now what is going to happen you know sum over rs prs is equal to 1 because that is the total probability of the system you know the total probability uh, has been normalized uh, during our derivation so total probability sum over r s prs that's equal to 1 so it's 1 now what is this quantity in the bracket here you know this is nothing but the definition of average energy of the system e bar so this is e bar and similarly the quantity in the bracket uh, sum over rs prs into nr is nothing but the average number of particle n bar or n symbol average of n right so we can rewrite this expression now it will become so simple minus mu into n bar by t okay first term plus e bar by t second term plus what simply k log z k log z is there or i can just uh, take t as lcm and then close multiply or it will give you uh, that t into s is equal to minus mu into n bar plus what e bar then uh, plus uh, i can multiply with t here when you take lcm kt log of z right or from this i am uh, taking or uh, okay log z what will be log of z which is nothing but our q potential by earlier definition so log z which is equal to q potential of the system that will be equal to on rearranging ts uh, plus mu into n bar uh, minus uh, okay e bar right divided by i can take that kt to the denominator of the other side so that is kt right so which can be again modified i hope you remember uh, mu n bar this mu n bar is nothing but g the gibbs potential gibbs free energy why because you know the gibbs free energy was defined as the uh, or uh, okay you can see that uh, other way we can say that uh, the gibbs free energy per number of particle is defined as the chemical potential is not the chemical potential is defined as dou g by dou n hope you remember that dou g by dou n uh, that was the case of um, chemical potential so you can see that the g by n so mu into n bar will be of course equal to what g so i can write this one as ts plus g minus e bar divided by kt so we are trying to modify this equation and uh, uh, now once again uh, one more thing that we are using one more uh, okay relation we are using you know uh, the definition of uh, g g is equal to gibbs potential was defined as uh helium force free energy a plus pv g is equal to a plus pv or f plus pv what you can write and you know that a is equal to u minus ts u minus u means internal energy here internal energy is the average energy e minus ts plus pv now you can see that uh, you can take uh, this uh, term to the other side so what will be g minus e bar plus ts equal to that will be equal to pv 
and can you see that the uh, okay numerator of our uh, q potential is equal to ts plus g minus e bar so that is nothing but what pv so what comes you can see that's a very interesting fact so you are getting q is equal to log z equal to pv by kt for the system right that's a general remember this is a general equation that is applicable for any system irrespective of whether it is uh, uh, canonical uh, sorry, uh, whether it is uh, uh, classical ideal gas or not don't jump into the conclusion that uh, this is uh, okay what is that uh, equation of state for uh, canonical uh, sorry classical ideal gas because we are doing a general derivation for any system in grand canonical ensemble we can uh, conclude that the q potential of the system that's why q potential is relevant which is de defined as log of the grand partition function will be equal to the product of pressure and velocity divided by Boltzmann constant into temperature of the system. So uh, this equation is going to be a landmark equation in the derivation for of what you call uh, the thermodynamics of the system. So let me call this one as equation number six. So our conclusion is that uh, uh, Q acts from this one, you can get all the thermodynamic quantities of interest. So Q acts as a link, Q acts as a link between the thermodynamics of the system of the system and the statistics of the corresponding grand canonical of the corresponding grand canonical ensemble so that will be our conclusion and uh, i think uh, i will be just uh, 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 you know, doing a separate uh, lecture or a video lecture on how to derive the thermodynamics of the system that will be better uh, starting from the Q potential and uh, that will be a very short video uh, so that it is easy to upload and uh, easy for you to watch also. So remember the conclusion is that uh, the grand partition function when it is uh, expressed in terms of the uh, Q potential, it will be directly serving as a bridge to the thermodynamics of the system. So in grand canonical ensemble, instead of uh, using Z directly, we will be using Q, which is defined as the logarithm of the Z uh, to start with the derivation of the thermodynamics. Okay, so uh, please uh, watch the second part of this particular derivation continuously uh, as uh, okay, um, uh, in order to keep uh, continuity of the topic. Thank you.